What's up, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. It's been a minute. I've been off the cuff, off the scene. I haven't done any live streams. I haven't done any content. For those of you who've been you know, waiting anxiously for some new content to be uh, uploaded, I've taken a break. You know, I've taken some time to kind of reflect on not only the channel, but where it's come and where it's gone. And I'm truly humbled to see the the growth of the channel. And I'm, I'm so, so excited for all the new students that have been enrolling into the university that have been taking advantage of not only the, the, the content that's available for free online, but also taking a step forward to invest into themselves. And what I found is that when you actually take a chance and you and you put money towards something that that literally goes into yourself, it goes it invests into yourself. It, you you're putting money where your mouth is, right? It reminds me a lot of like you know that when we took the chance to join into this type of industry and into this line of work, we ultimately had to go through these certain steps in order to get there. So we had to fork up money for our licensing. We had to put in put in the time to go through the NMLS testing and go through that grind and learning how to kind of get acquainted with the new vocabulary and all these wonderful acronyms that this mortgage industry comes with. And, you know, it's just a part of the process. It's a part of the growth. And, you know, that that in itself is is something that we ultimately should look at as as us taking a chance on ourselves because we had to take that risk. Otherwise, we're not really here for the base salary. Right. We don't do what we do every single day to make the hourly wage. We see the upside. And that's something very interesting that I wanted to talk about in today's live session. But I'm also going to share some announcements, you know, with uh, with the content and what's in store for 2019. So I'm glad that you guys joined me. I appreciate you guys waiting uh, around watching the stream. I got some new software that allows me to stream on multiple channels now. So not only am I going to be live on Twitter, not only am I live here on IG, but I'm also live on YouTube and Facebook. And so this is pretty much going to be how the live streams happen now for the every, you know, the, the weekly Thursday uh, live sessions that I have. That's one of my very first announcements is it's back. It's going to be coming back on January 10th. So every Thursday starting January 10th, I'm going to share about 30 minutes with you guys to give you guys a pulse on not only the market, but but just to remind you where your mindset needs to be and where your head needs to be at. And so you guys are going to see this uh, this chat box up you know, up on the screen. And for those of you guys, just, you know, comment, let me know you guys are there. Um, you know, show show me where you guys are checking in at. And again, I'm, I'm pretty new to the software. So if there's any sort of glitches, I apologize in advance, but I'll get better. And, um, you know, going on to 2019, I think that we all are, are going in with, with kind of 50 50 expectations, right? Like we, kind of we see where the market is we see kind of the resources that we have and we see where the business is kind of shifting and it's definitely a different landscape um compared to where we were in 2015 16 and even some part of 17 but i think it was inevitable that you know the market couldn't stay where it was all those earlier years and so now the question is well what do i do you know how do i how do i surpass these challenges and I think the answer is going to be different for everyone because not everyone has the same uh, capabilities. Not everyone has the same resources, right? So, like some of us, you know, that we some of us are out in the field knocking on open house doors, <laughs> chasing realtors, looking for referral business, and some of us are inside of a call center. So we get fed leads, we get these internet aggregate leads, and some of us are sitting inside of like a big box retail bank. And wherever you are, I think you, you'll agree with me is that number one is you just need to know how to maneuver through this market and ultimately persuade whatever lead source, whatever referral source, whatever referral partner that you get, you have to understand how to communicate with them in a way where you don't get left chasing after them. And so my plan for 2019 is to teach you guys how to be hunted, not to be necessarily the hunters, you know. Um, even though a lot of my messages were like, hey man, I'm gonna teach you how to hunt. I'm gonna teach you how to hunt. I also wanna teach you how to attract the business. And a lot of the content that I've been sharing up until this far is very complex. You know, I had one of the followers hit me up 
and they're like, hey man, you dropped some real deep content. And, uh, and the funny thing is, is that even though it's deep, not too many people actually really catch on to it. Those of you who really caught on to it and have used it and have invested into the course are now enjoying the profits. You guys are enjoying the return. And I want to, I want to share a message with you guys. You know, like, like I mentioned, we all took time to get position in the position to be licensed and to do what we do. And now the ball's in our court, right? So we have all this opportunity. I like to refer to it as we are licensed to sell money. And what better license than that, right? Like I have the license to sell money. Who doesn't want money? But sometimes we can, we can make things a little bit more complicated than they really are. And my intent by showing you a new vehicle, a new way of, of influencing, a new way of marketing, a new way of originating business, a new way of getting referral business, a new way of selling and closing your prospects so that they don't care about the rate. They don't care about the market. They don't care about the price. And the reason why they don't care about it is because that's not the primary focus. And my goal in 2019 is that if you're finding yourself chasing, begging, hunting for referral partners, I want to help you end that. If your issue right now going into 2019 is that you're worried because your company doesn't give you the best leads or your company doesn't have the best pricing or your company doesn't have the best reputation, my goal is to help end that. I'm going to show you how to, how to just hone in and create your own brand. You see, where we go into 2019 is, 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 it can be viewed as a challenge, but at the same time, we can also look at it as a gift because communication and technology has enabled us to be anywhere and everywhere at one given moment. Now, that may not necessarily apply to you, you believe, because maybe you only deal with your local community or your local city, but the power of a hashtag, the power of, of going live and being found within your community or within your city is amazing these days, and it's also very easy. But it does take the right mentoring. It does take the right coaching, right? And so besides a special announcement, January 10th, which is a Thursday, the live weekly uh, streams uh, where we, we start about 8.30 and we're going to go up until 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you want to mark your calendars. Be sure that you attend and, uh, and, and just pick up some of that information because it could be just that one piece of advice that literally changes the momentum of your day. And again, a shout out to all of you who've been supporting the channel. I wouldn't have, we, the channel wouldn't be where it's at right now if it didn't have you guys, if it didn't have your referrals, if it didn't have your likes, your comments, your shares. So each and every single one of you, if you've ever caught the content and if you've ever recommended it to one of your fellow loan officer buddies, I appreciate you. I hope I earned that trust throughout 2019. And it feels good. It feels good to do good upon others. And that's one of the mess messages that I want to roll into 2019 about is that it's not just about us. You know, I know sales is kind of like a bias <laughs> type of industry where we always want to prove and demonstrate why we're number one. But I want to help you guys shift your mindset and really give off this energy where it's all about helping and serving. And I think that that is going to change the dynamics of not only our own sales profession, but also give the energy that we want that attracts the, the attention that we need. Because one thing that I've learned in being in sales is that you cannot sell anything without attention, right? And so we need attention. But how do we get attention in this market or in this society where alerts are everywhere? There's just all these different distractions. There's all these different marketing tools and marketing gadgets that are being you know, uh, promoted by these other social influencers. You're going to see social gurus trying to sell you these marketing platforms to bring you leads. But unless you know how to actually sell those leads and influence those leads, you're still going to be playing that numbers game. And that's a very important message for you guys to really, really understand. And, um, and regardless of where you, get, where you get your leads from, whether you're running Facebook ads or you got the latest marketing gadget or you know, you have you have an inbound call center or dialer delivering you leads. The the hack, the real hack to get more sales is understanding how to handle those leads. And that's where you're gonna that's what you're gonna find here at Sales Remastered. Not only that, but you're also gonna deter, you're also gonna be able to develop the right mindset to push through a lot of the resistance that we come up across. 
And what's different about New American or what's different about here about like at Sales Remastered is you're going to find the content that actually applies to your industry, applies to you. You know, it's not it's not like these other sales influencer channels that teaches you how to invest in a multi billion dollar portfolio. Boo boo. What if I don't got a hundred grand to go buy into your portfolio? Right. And, and the information and the content that you're going to find here is something that you could use literally every single day day so again i appreciate all you guys everyone checking in what up phoenix appreciate you guys checking in irvine's in the house i know i got uh people in florida um we got people out in utah that's checking in hawaii's in the house aloha tanya i don't know and um going into 2019 i want us to to really remember that we have this opportunity to kind of set the bar right and what I've learned that it, you know, throughout my years in being in sales is that whatever goal you set, only you can determine the momentum and the energy that you're going to put towards hitting that goal. And so, for example, like when we typically set our monthly goals, we go in a little bit modest, don't we? Because it's natural that our primitive brain protects us. We protect ourselves from rejection. We protect ourselves from harm. And this can sometimes mean that we we protect ourselves from looking like a fool. And so when we set up our, our goals or we set up our kind of our promises and, and our commitments, whether on a monthly basis or going into 2019, we can sometimes go in conservative and we analyze, and it's not your fault if you're doing this, but we analyze our current landscape. We analyze where we believe the market's gonna go, where we believe our company will take us. And I need you to understand that you have more power than that. You got more resources than that. You have at sales remastered to help you push past your limits. And so when you go into 2019, I want you to set a goal that's gonna scare you. I want, I want you to set a goal that you're gonna be like, damn, like deep down inside, you're gonna be like, ooh, I don't know if I can hit that, but I want you to set it. And because the reason why is because I'm going to show you how to hit it. But the, but the thing is, though, here's the hack is you got to be ready to accept it. You got to believe that you already are getting it. You see, most of the battle or the challenge that we face being in sales is our own self. It's our own mindset. And we stand in our way a lot of the time, even from setting commitments to going into sales pitches or you know, meeting up with referral partners. We are actually, and again, it's not our fault because maybe the resources that we have or the sales training or the sales management that we have giving us advice. But when we take a step back and realize that this advice or these recommendations are being given from people who are not in the field like us, people who are not in the trenches like us, people who are not originating sales and having to rely on those sales to pay our bills like us. You know, these these individuals are typically, you know, uh, sales managers who are just being paid through overrides. They're sales trainers who are being given instructions from the upper management team or the executive team. You know, sometimes we even get advice that we rely on from sales gurus that used to be used car salesmen that now turn portfolio because they got a jet and I think you all know who I'm talking about. And I did a post the other day where it was this, uh, it was this picture of Jean-Claude Van Damme, right? If you guys haven't seen Bloodsport, man, make that your New Year's resolution. Go watch Bloodsport. And, uh, and it has Jean-Claude Van Damme wearing a headset. And it said before and behind the screen, you don't know if you guys even caught that, but it had the content that he was watching. And, and you know, sometimes and it, my, my message I wanted to illustrate is a lot of the challenges that we seem to to kind of be stopped by and we can't overcome is because we're we're taking recommendations and advice from people who haven't even overcome the challenge themselves or maybe don't have that similar challenge and so we're here at Sales Remaster can help you is because I'm still in the trenches with you, boo-boo. I'm still on the phones selling. I'm still on the phones originating. I'm still marketing. I'm still, you know, creating that attraction for these referral partners. And so let's talk about what those three things are to help us dominate in 2019 because I, I want you guys to go into 2019 not only confident but understanding that whatever goal you hit, it is up to you. It's not only up to you, but it's going to be 
reachable. It's going to be attainable as long as you understand that that the platform that you have, regardless of whatever company, regardless of what division, inside, outside, retail, bank, whatever resources you have, you just need to understand the system. And when you learn how to manipulate or, or, or play that system to your own beat, to your own drum beat, then you can work that system to create those the the results that you want right so i got three things to help you dominate in 2019 and uh, the very first one is going to be referral business referral business is something that i'm really going to start pressing on in 2019 because i think that a lot of us are looking for referral partners but let's take a step back and understand why referrals are money referrals are money because typically they're referred to us by somebody who gives trust to us and so referral business typically don't worry or sweat the price right they just work with us because someone that they knew worked with us or someone that they knew co-sign for us and so referral business can really be the icing on top of your production not only that but it can give you those extra units to push your income past maybe into that upper tier or maybe get that extra side bonus that you could use on other things like investing into yourself and and referral business is something that we sometimes feel awkward about and asking right like at the very end we sometimes feel awkward like hey man can you refer me to your neighbors and your friends and your coworkers you know because we maybe sometimes our our inner dialogue thinks that that the person referring to us is going to think that we're going to share their personal information but if we disclose that at the very beginning and say, hey, I just wanted to let you know, you know, all your information is confidential, but where I receive the highest compliment is by getting referred to your family, your friends, and your neighbors. So if they'd like any advice or just want to chit chat about any, you know, scenarios, I'd be more than happy to help them. I'm doing a lot of business in your area and, and you know, kind of move in that way, but get your message. Like whenever you think about like a message you want to give, we will analyze that message and we'll analyze it in a way where we try and think where where's the kickback, right? Like where's that objection? Where's that resistance coming from? And if we if we first just analyze where that resistance comes from and then build it into the message in a per, in a kind of covert way, right? Like so if they're worried that we're going to tell them that they had a 580 FICO score, we had to pay off $99,000 in debt and they got $3 in the bank, that would be something that we can kind of, you know, covertly plant inside that message and say, "Hey, just so you know, none of your information will be shared. I never share your numbers or your personal scenario with anyone that you refer me to, but please the highest compliment you can give me is not a five star rating. It's actually being referred to your to, to you know to your friends, your family, your coworkers. And ultimately, what I'm going to do is give them solutions that I've given to you. I'm going to set up a plan so that they can become as successful as you and experience the changes the same as you. And you know, when we recraft our message, it's going to be easier to get those referrals. But what happens if you're trying to get referrals from out other people besides your prospects? Well, if we're trying to search for referral partners in 2019, and, and just like in these courses, I'm going to share with you other ideas. I'm going to open your eyes to other type of referral partners that you may not be considering, from like photographers, the wedding planners, to you know lawyers, attorneys, CPAs, insurance agents, life ins life insurance agents. You know, there's a lot of other resources besides realtors because, I mean, let's face it, at the end of the day, these realtors have heard all the, you know, the tap dancings that's being done by, by us mortgage loan officers, right? And so sometimes they could be tuned out and they can be kind of, you know, swayed to avoid us because we're just like every other hungry loan officer trying to get that business. And so I want to I want to introduce you in, a, in some new ways. So be sure that if you if you're on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, if you're on YouTube, you're going to want to add at Sales Remastered. If you guys are going to notice um, or have noticed there's different content now being streamed upon all different platforms so content you see on ig is not going to be necessary put on the facebook um, content on youtube is not necessarily going to be put on facebook or ig so you got to catch every single platform so do that today add sales remastered on the stream you're already there it helps me because i get that promotion of course and it puts me on like the discovery page or it puts me on the recommended page so i, I appreciate that in advance but stay tuned because in 2019 i'm gonna share with you some different ways on how to get more referral business 
And like I said, referral business is the key to getting more units every single month. But besides that, I wanna share with, uh, with you guys a second hack that's really gonna help you dominate 2019. And it's expectations, right? There's twofold, so this goes two ways. There's an expectation upon ourself. Just like I said, when we, when, you know, when we set up our own personal goals, we can sometimes hold ourselves back because the expectation drive that we give ourselves. And so we might be a little bit conservative in setting up our goals and our commitments because maybe we don't necessarily expect as much from ourselves. But I need to remind you guys, again, you guys are licensed to sell money, right? And sometimes it's not your fault, right? Like, you, like your drive, your hustle, your hunger may not necessarily be driven as hard because of your environment. So it's not your fault. Or maybe even your own personal liabilities and your responsibility. So again, I, I completely understand. But what would happen if you had excess? What would happen if you had an abundance, right? Wouldn't that give you more opportunities? Wouldn't that give you more freedom? Wouldn't that give you more leeway to do whatever it is you want to do? So I want to share with you guys a different way to, to hold yourself accountable and expect more from yourself. It does not mean that you need to sacrifice every single weekend. It does not mean you need to work 12 to 14 hours per day. If you guys invested in the course already, I'm showing you ways on how to do all this in a in a eight to nine hour window you're gonna be there already boo boo so you might as well just figure out how to do it efficiently and that's exactly what the course is giving you is that efficient guidance and that efficient mentoring which by the way in the notes on these videos whether you catch it on facebook or youtube um, those of you who are on ig you're gonna want to hit the um, link inside the profile page but look at the notes inside uh, or the post, right? It gives you these coupon codes that are available at checkout when you when you decide to take your game to the next level. If you're going in 2019, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna make sure I do what I gotta do to do what I wanna do, then I'm gonna hook you up. I got these coupon codes that expire soon, so you're gonna wanna take advantage of them. So many different students all throughout the country and uh and islands have been taking advantage of these these coupon codes and coming up they're they're already buying their ticket to the top and i'm gonna make it my personal obligation to make sure that you do reach the top because i'm motivated not only motivated to help you win but i'm motivated for that social proof i'm motivated to get those reviews from you to tell me and tell the world and the community how much of an impact and how much of a change just like the reviews you see at salesremaster.com so if you haven't by now look at the uh, notes on the post of the video that you're watching, whatever platform you're watching it right now, take advantage of those codes. If money's tight because of the holidays, I get it. There's a minimum, there's a mini course called Closing Secrets 101. That'll ramp up your business and your income right away and then go ahead and invest in the other courses. But if you want the fastest way to the top, you're gonna have to hold yourself accountable. And that means put your money where your mouth is. If you're ready to do this, then you gotta do this, right? So besides that, expectations upon others. You know, I think sometimes when we go into, um, you know, the month or when we go into just the day, we have these expectations that we have upon other people. And typically it's those people that we work with. Sometimes it's, it's expectations to our referral partners or it could be expectations that we expect from people that we work with, right? Because we demand the best. We demand, you know, efficiency. We want... We want the same attitude and, and, and professionalism that we exude, right? And so sometimes we don't get that back in return. Like we can be, we, we can be forced to work with that one loan processor that just doesn't give a fuck <laughs> or just doesn't care about their business or just doesn't want it as bad as we do. And I need to remind you guys that, that, that not everyone is going to be as driven as you. Not everyone wants to be successful like you. Not everyone is out to make the absolute biggest bang for the month like you. And one sure thing that's going to hold you back and kill your momentum it's going to kill your mindset is when you expect too much upon others because what happens is you can't control that that's one thing you can't necessarily control right you can't control someone's drive what you can control though is their is there is the influence that you give upon them is how to persuade them to do the very things that you want them to do and so the course and the content that i'm going to be delivering in 2019 shows you how to influence and persuade those operational roles whether it's loan officers underwriters appra you know appraisal management companies like your referral partners it, it it gives you a solution so that you're not stuck left 
frustrated expecting the absolute best. It's going to teach you how to be compatible with that particular mindset and move it in the direction that you need it to go. Because it's far easier to influence someone to do something rather than look at things in a different light or, you know, do things or believe things that they aren't normally believing. That's just a completely different rhythm, right? So you're, it's kind of like you wanting them like a specific music genre, but they just don't hear that music genre. It's, it mutes out to them. So that it's just not their vibe. So I'm going to teach you how to, how to create the vibe that makes them want to listen to you and makes them want to interact with you. So understand that going into 2019, you know, the, we can only hold ourselves accountable, right? The results that we get, we can only blame ourselves whether they fall short or they go beyond. That's it. Bottom line, you can't expect others because then that becomes an excuse like, oh man, I would have hit these units if I would have had a better management or a better manager. I would have hit these units if I didn't have that processor. And it's cool to vent at times, but don't let that vent become your reason as to why you're holding down because I put you on this on this on this track where you start to look for other greener sides. You start to, you know, you start to vent in different ways that puts puts everything in red, right? It's like you you start to think it's everyone else and everything else besides you. And we have so much freedom and so much control over our success and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in 2019. So if you haven't added me to your Facebook or your YouTube or your Instagram or your LinkedIn, if you haven't added at Sales Remastered on all the platforms that you follow, do that today. And then the third is accountability. Accountability, man. Man, you know, going into 2019, the only person, people that can hold us accountable is ourselves. But I'm going to share with you a different way of accountability. You know, I got this one training course. It's called the Sales Boost Camp. It's a six-week training course. It, it's all about accountability. You get direct mentoring with me, like me and you share an hour um, directly on, you know, there's there's uh, there's mentoring calls where you and I go one-on-one -on -one mentoring uh, uh, private coaching sessions where it's just you and I. And what I found is that when you are aiming to get to a certain destination, when you're aiming to get to the top, when you're driven to get a specific result, you the, the accountability factor behind that motivation is what's going to determine whether or not you get it. Does that make sense? So if you know, if like, for example, if you have to make these specific results because you got kids or you got a family or you got a mortgage, you're more than likely to hit that 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 result um, rather than if you didn't have those obligations. Right. If you didn't have that that responsibility. Well, there's also a different level of accountability and that's accountability partners. So basically the sales boost camp enables me to become your accountability partner. So I not only hold you accountable, but I show you how to hit that hit that spot, right? Or hit that result, hit that particular tier, hit that income bracket, hit that amount of fundings per month. I will show you based on your exact platform how to best get to that height, how to best get to that level. And the sales boost camp, basically it unlocks all the training courses that are available at salesremaster.com but it gives you one-on-one -on -one direct mentoring that's gonna show you how to implement those lessons. It's gonna show you how others have already implemented those lessons. And it, regardless of what platform, whether you're outside hustling for referral business, like a outside retail branch, right? Like you're not in a call center, or even if you're in a call center, and even if you're in a big box retail bank like Chase, Bank of America, like these, these, these local banks, right? Even if you're sitting inside one of those, you wanna learn how to get more, out of your day-to-day -day hustle, that's all provided to you within these courses. But the sales boost camp, you know, retails for $1,997. You spend it six weeks with me. Like I'm gonna give you a six week, you know, uh, boost camp. Like it's it's <laughs> it's a boot camp, bro. But you know, the 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 code that's on the notes right below, if you if you input that coupon code, you're gonna get a fat discount. Again, that code is gonna expire. Not only that, but in 2019, probably about the end of the first quarter, the prices are just gonna go up. So be sure you take advantage because again, the only person that you can really hold accountable for your wins or for your losses is you. You can't point fingers anymore going into 2019. You can't say, oh, if I would have been in this employer, or oh, if I would have had these rates, or oh, if I would have had this processing support. There's none of that. The only person that can hold yourself accountable, boo-boo, is you. So 
besides those three things, I want to appreciate all of you guys. I want to give love to all of you guys for, for the support along the last couple of years. February 14th, 2019 marks two years anniversary since this brand launched and since this channel launched. And it, again, it wouldn't have grown to the size that it is now unless it had your support, unless it had, you know, your your uh, recommendations, your referrals, your comments. You know, I'm, I'm getting more and more traction, more and more DMs of saying, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing you with everyone on my team. I'm sharing you with everyone in the office. And and when you do this, you're going to notice that some people are going to be turned on to it. Some people are not. Because again, some people just are not wired like us. They don't want the best. They don't want the fast track to the top. They don't necessarily have the obligations that you and I have to become the absolute best and make the absolute most of our time. So that's okay. But still, spread the word. Let everybody know about Sales Remaster. Let everybody know about your wins that you're getting from the techniques that you've learned from the information that I provide or the courses that I've you know, helped you, or the lessons that I've given within the courses that you've purchased. And let the world know that this channel is available. Again, it feels good to do good upon others. So going into 2019, don't let it just be about yourself. Really have, really want to have a positive impact upon anyone and everyone around you. Like if, if you see someone with a negative mindset, someone who's just kind of that negative Nelly, like I'm not asking you to commit your time to turn their mindset around. What I'm telling you to do is that you have the ability to influence that person to show them that you're winning and hopefully they can get a negative mindset. If you've been in that negative mind state, I know I have, it's horrible. It's bad for your health and it's just your day to day is ruined. So if you could do one good thing upon somebody, you know what I mean? Give them an example, influence them that, that, you know, the resources are there if they want it. And, uh, and yeah, just good karma, bro. But besides that, I want to thank all of you guys, send you guys much love. I hope you guys have an amazing Merry Christmas with your family. Take some time to show them some appreciation because every single day we're hustling. We're putting in hours of work to make our dreams happen, right? To turn our goals into reality. And so we sacrifice a lot of the time um, that we could ultimately be spending with them in building our empire. So take the time during this holiday season and really show them some appreciation. Give them some gratitude because without them, you probably wouldn't push so hard. Without them, you probably wouldn't want it so hard. So take this time to not only uh, you know invest in yourself, but really show appreciation to those people that matter. Just like I am today in this live stream, I'm showing appreciation to you guys because you guys matter. You guys support the brand. You guys help me. Uh, grow to, to the level that I'm at right now, and it's only getting started. So to learn more about these special coupons, look at the notes right below this video and go to salesremaster.com to see the courses for yourself. If you've never been to the website or you don't have a copy of the inbound out, outbound sales script, get a copy right now. Go to salesremaster.com. This It's a game changer. It's going to show you how to originate inbound and outbound business so you can create some momentum, whether it's referral partners or or whether it's consumers, it's going to give you the energy and, and, and the consistency that you need to dominate 2019. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, this random live stream. You know, I was excited to um, check out the new software that I got, and it looks like everything's firing on all pistons. Everything's working, so um, I'm I'm excited. Again, January 10th, uh, which is Thursday, January 10th, 2019, the live streams come back on again. Every Thursday, 8.30 to 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'll be doing a live session. So be sure you check in. Be sure you hit that reservation spot. And if you haven't bought now, you know, you want to go to the Facebook. You want to go to the YouTube, the Instagram channels and add Sales Remastered on your stream because it could be just that one content that literally changes the course of your of your future, it changes the course and the momentum that you go through. You know, that one little sales hack or that one little piece of advice can literally change the way you look at that specific challenge, overcome it, and start winning with it. So I appreciate you guys' time. Hope you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. <laughs>